So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! Keep spitting my face! Today's video takes us to Crown Point, Indiana, where we find one of our favorite frauditors, Floyd, being an idiot. The thing that he does best. Now this video I had edited several months ago, but I don't believe I ever uploaded it to any of my channels. So please enjoy. Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Don't touch me. This is the half-baked dimwit behind the camera. This is Floyd, and he always says, don't touch me. Sounds just like his pal Patty Cakes. That's my purse! I don't know you! Back off. What? Back off. What's going on? None of your business. Cop walking up on me, ma'am. Stop. 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 Don't touch me. Don't touch me, dude. What's in your back pocket? None of your business. Don't worry about what's in my back pocket. Stop walking up on me. Don't touch me, bro. Nobody, nobody. We just don't know what you're doing. Don't touch me. I won't allow you to touch me. Stop walking up on me, man. Stop. I won't, Stop. I asked, I'm, I'm in the same area. I ain't going nowhere. I just want you walking up on me, bro. Poor Floyd. He's a dope because Princess Patty Cakes and Earl David Warden used him for so many years as he was arrested while they made money. And now the poor guy is brainwashed. He doesn't know what to do. What is in your back pocket? Don't None of your business. It. Don't grab it. Why not? We told you not to. It looks like a handle to a gun. It looks like a handle to what? A gun. Well, that's, that's the problem. Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me, dude. Don't touch me. I'm telling you not to touch me, bro. My hands are up. It's up in the air. It's up. If you tase me, don't touch me. Uh-uh. Don't touch me. You don't have a right to touch me. Give me my stuff. You're not, don't put me in handcuffs. Nope, not allowing you to put me in handcuffs. Handcuffs should be the least of your worries, sonny boy. They suspect you of having a weapon on your person. You should put your hands straight above your head and remain motionless. But I know you won't. Not allowing, nope. What crime be detained for? Stop. What crime be detained for? Stop. What crime am I being detained for? I don't consent to searches or seizures of any property. What's your name, Bass number? You have to tell me what crime you're being detained for. Stop touching me, dude. I'm going to fucking tase you. If you're going to tase you, you're going to get sued. You're going to get sued, bro. Stop touching my camera, bro. Stop touching my camera. I don't consent to searches or seizures. Do not touch me. You can cuff me, but do not seize my property. Let me... Drop this for a second. No, why? Why? All these frauditors lately seem to have a thing about the Fourth Amendment. I don't consent to illegal searches or seizures. I got news for you, brother. When those handcuffs go on, that goes out the window. By the way, these frauditors seem to have an aversion to people touching their potato cameras. Silence Boy is like that. Isn't that right there, Silence Boy? You touch my phone, you can't touch my phone. Okay, you touch my phone. Why did you touch my phone? She touched my property. Why would I drop it? Am I being detained for a crime? Yeah. For what crime? You don't want to listen. For what crime? You what just you so you just here? you just violated my first amendment rights. What are you? What are you That's what doing you just here? did. You just violated my first amendment rights. You seized my phone. Let me I get my. Seize your phone. Let me get my what? camera. Don't. Uh. -uh. What's your name? What is Let your me name? get my camera, bro. What's, What's your, your name? name? You violated my rights. I don't consent to searches or seizures. What crime am I being detained for? 
You're a suspicious person. That's cool. I'm going to plead the fifth at this point. You went by, I don't consent to searches. I don't consent to searches. Don't well, go through my phone. you don't want to tell us your name. You so. don't get to buy people's rights, dude. What's your name Vast number? What's your name Vast number, bro? Calm down, Floyd. The name and badge number will all be contained on the police report. Now take it easy. What is your name and badge number? What's in here? None of your business. Don't touch me. Don't seize my property. Don't seize my property. I will resist if you seize my property. Well, you're right. You're uh, what, resisting. For what crime? What's your name? I'll be detained for a crime. What is your name? And I'll be detained for a crime. Yeah. For what crime? Suspicious person. That's not a crime. Why are you out here You're identified pictures? as a suspicious person, so you gotta identify I'll take your pictures. Get Number your supervisors. One. For what? Get your supervisors. You just violated my rights, bro. Alright, well, if you don't want to give us your name, you can go to jail for refusal to identify then. Get your supervisor before you make any rash decisions. Oh, yes, indeed, Sheriff. Get your supervisor. Because this bloody wanker is not playing games. This plonker is going to file a lawsuit. He has an attorney on retainer. At least he says he does. I don't need a supervisor. I'm asking for your supervisor. I don't need a supervisor. I'm asking for your supervisor. Why? Because you're violating my constitutional rights. And we're just trying to get your name and figure out what you're doing here. You have to suspect me of a crime first. Suspicious activity, is it a misdemeanor or a felony? We're trying to get your name because you're out here taking pictures of people. Exercising my constitutional rights. I'm requesting a supervisor. I'm requesting a supervisor. Stop yelling. I'm requesting a supervisor. For what? Because you violated my rights. For what? You took my phone. You see my phone right there? Your phone's right there. No one sees it. You took it out of my hand, though. Okay. So if I go grab it, you're going to try to stop me, right? You're Come on, officer. Floyd is trying to live stream to his YouTube audience. His camera's on the ground. He can't live stream anything. You're stopping him from making money. Thing right there. Don't touch me, dude. I can if I want to, so. Ain't nobody going over. Right. No, I don't. No, I don't. Go ahead and take me to jail on it, then. I ain't gonna resist you. If you're gonna take me for a failure to ID, go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. I'm not gonna hinder or nothing. I'm gonna plead the fifth at this point, though. Do you really promise to shut your mouth, Floyd? Because I see the video has another 22 minutes to run, and we know you can't shut your mouth for 22 minutes. Of course, I'm not going to subject my viewers to 22 minutes of your babbling. You're not going to give us your name? Get your name and we're out of here, man. That's all it is. Can I re I'm requesting your supervisor at this point. May I please have your supervisor? Well, that barely lasted 30 seconds. He said he wasn't going to speak anymore. I told you that. Now let's see what else is going to happen before he gets arrested. All right, well, I'm going to grab my camera. No, you're not. So you're just going to violate my rights? That's what you're just going to do? You just violated my rights, right? You just took my phone. Let me grab my camera. You already fucking broke my screen, bro. You stepped on it, not me. No, you stepped on it. So you just, you seizing my property. Yes, I'm seizing it. Well, you got it in your hand. So if I took your body cam, that'd be seizing it, bro. We're not seizing it. You're right. Are you, then you're stealing my shit, bro. Then no, put it no. back, put it back in my hand. No. That's stuff, then. Remain calm, Floyd. You'll get your property back once you're released from jail. I don't like to be surrounded. So. Mm -hmm. I don't like you behind me. You don't want me behind you, do you? You just violated my rights. You just clearly violated my rights, bro. I'm currently in handcuffs. 
Yes, you're currently in handcuffs, and soon you will be sitting in the back of a squad car headed downtown to the local jail. Ain't nobody gonna go nowhere, man. I don't like how you just took my phone. You could have handcuffed me, but you, you seized my property, which is a violation of my First Amendment rights. You can't seize people's property. Is your body cam publicly accessible, and is it on? Is that the all right? Is that the person that's coming to speak to you guys? That's oh. over there. Well, I can't really see you that well, so. You need to take your sunglasses off. No, I don't need to take them off. Look, Dimwit, I thought you were an expert on the Constitution. Seizing property is not a violation of the First Amendment. That's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Now, come on, let's get with the program. So you just like violating people's rights now? Yeah? All we need is your name and your... You don't, you don't have that right to get my name, though. Terror v. Ohio is a federal law. You might want to look up and look into it. The Supremacy Clause also states that all federal laws and United States constitutional laws are above and takes priority over state law. So look up the Supremacy Clause since you, since you guys think you know everything. This is a learning lesson. It's a learning lesson today. I didn't realize that Floyd was an educator. Of course, most frauditors are educators. They desire to mold young minds. Oh, that's a scary thought. Is my is my is my is my stream on still on my phone? All right, is it on? Let me see it. Let me see my phone, bro. Let me see my stream. Is it still on? Let me see my phone. Let me see my phone, bro. See, you just violated my rights, man. If it's still on, I'm currently at the Lake County, at the Lake County Courthouse. Lake County Sheriff detained me and handcuffed. Didn't tell me what crime I'm being detained for. Except suspicious activity, which is not a misdemeanor, nor a felony, nor an infraction. So they, what they did is they violated my First Amendment rights, my Fourth Amendment rights by seizing my property. They detained me, seized my movement. So I can't do, I can't go nowhere. I mean, I can walk, but I can't really do nothing. I can't record any of this because they violated my constitutional rights. Now this bird brain is standing there in handcuffs, awaiting to be transported to the jail. And all he's worried about is his live stream. Again. Something is wrong here. Hey, you just want to take him over to your car? I'm not going in your car, Mom. I mean, you can stay in front of your dash cam, but that makes you feel better. That makes you feel safe. If you can hear this, call the right people. Tell them I'm being detained for a no crime. My stream should be still going, bro. You shouldn't have turned my stream off. You shouldn't have turned off my phone or nothing. Another thing you just did is covered up my body count, which is illegal too. And then you violated my constitutional rights. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Floyd say he was going to invoke his Fifth Amendment right to be silent? Wasn't that about five minutes ago he said that? A few minutes later. Can I get you guys' names and badge numbers since you're right on the scene? Sergeant J. Novak, badge number 516. What about this guy here? Alright, this guy is gonna talk to you and get your side and everything that's going on. I'm not you're not getting anything from me, man. Alright, then you're going to jail. Have a nice day. For what crime? Get this is back on the It's a it's a picture thing. Alright, well, you can go. We can have a conversation like adults. For what crime? Or you can play the game that you're gonna come out here and bait us. I'm not playing. Alright, I'll and be. And when you call that uh, you for a suspicious incident, they have uh, the right to check to make sure that you're not arrested anybody. But you don't want to play along. You don't want to act like an adult. Now you get to go to jail as a child. All uh, right, I'll give so, you. I'll give you my name. I'll no, give you my name. Did you hear what the cop said? He's not gonna come out here and play bait games with Floyd. And now that Floyd's going to be under arrest, all of a sudden he wants to cooperate. Oh, it's too late, Floyd. So sorry. Taking him, get him out of here. Oh, we're done. We're done. Government. Exercise my first member protected activity. Exercise my constitutional rights. He's out here you. baiting and playing. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not yeah. asking again. Take him to jail. All right. That's how you gonna do me? I ain't done nothing illegal. That's fine. 
That's cool. You want me to give you my name? But Floyd Wallace Jr. 1217. 1217. Got my name. Floyd Wallace Jr. You saw I'm being arrested for failure to ID and resisting. Floyd Wallace Jr. 1217. My body cam's on. My glasses. Of course, this is not the first time that Floyd has refused to give his name or answer officer's question, but I'm betting that he's thinking right now he wishes he had given his name. But on the other hand, this is going to be good for clicks and views on his pitiful YouTube channel because he's an unemployed grifter. Were you able to see that handle thing sticking out? Yes, he had that. the handle... Literally sticking out, just so you could see that. Yeah. So that's why I was worried that it was a gun. Well, he's on private property. It's a government. It's got added security. He's got a right there. Yeah, hey, you want to give us his hands? And all I wanted was to see what this was. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He's out here playing his games, trying to bait us. He's going to put it on YouTube and yeah, become a celebrity. Right there. That's what I'm assuming that's the star right there. Yeah. So he wants to play those games like KD did. Give him every opportunity to discuss it with him. Whatever he's doing, he's out here playing games, he's playing games, that's all fine and good. you got to understand that you're going to be stopped, and we're going to find out why you're on property and what you're doing. Because of judges, jurors, and everything else, we have a right to do that. But he wants to play his games, now he can explain it to a judge. He doesn't want to talk to me like an adult, maybe he'll talk to the judge as an adult. And if he wants to play these games with them, they'll lock him up for contempt and add to his title. I don't care. And I'm not playing these games. Everyone's entitled, everyone thinks they're special, now he gets the special treatment. Well, there you have it, folks. Stupid is as stupid does. Now, remember, this used to be a good friend with patty cakes. Oh, they used to be pals. And Earl David Wharton as well. Then I think Floyd figured out that they were using him, and he sort of broke off and went his own direction. And now patty cakes just hangs out with his best buddy, Earl. Yeah, that is until he goes to prison once again. Oh, yes, he will. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Now, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.